Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day. And if you are in the market for controller, then this Lenovo 500 multimedia controller is one you may want to consider. It is definitely unique and different than many of the other controllers that I've tried in that if you notice on this controller, there is no touchpad. They have built a sensor over the keys to allow it to work as if you are using it as a touchpad. So very, very cool there. If you click on the link, by the way, in the description, you can get more information, ask questions, read reviews, and of course, order it. Feel free to leave any questions in the box below, and I'll try and answer those for you. I do want to mention this is not a device that runs on Bluetooth, so if you are looking for Bluetooth connectivity, it does not. It runs with a USB receiver. Also, one of the things which I wish it had is an illuminated keypad or the illuminated controller, but it does not. And that's because the technology to make it work with it as a mouse pad over the keys uh, doesn't allow it at this point from what I understand. So let's go ahead. Let me share with you more about what's included. You have the nice box, uh, which would be a nice gift box. You have an extender for the USB receiver. So depending upon where that USB receiver is to help with interference, you also have this uh, multimedia user guide, and it uh, has it's several languages. It uh, gives uh, some uh, good images as well as descriptive information there, and then you have additional documentation as well. So the keypad or the controller feels really good in the hand. It's plastic. It's not too heavy. feels right. The buttons are laid out well, and I'll talk more about that in my demo here on my computer as I'm going to demo it on my PC because the operating systems that it supports are Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. Now you can use it with other devices that have USB uh, and then you should be able to use it fine but it has these gestures in it and where the gestures work are best on uh, the Windows operating system. I found unfortunately with my Samsung TV it's not a smart TV it does not work with it but if you have uh, another playing game system that you have a USB port, it should work fine, but you're not gonna get the full functionality of all the gestures, but you will have the ability to use the controller as a controller for the different functionality that it has on here. Also, if you have an Android type box, uh, it should work as well, but again, the gestures may not, and from what I understand, the same for a Mac. So, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, controller, you've got your on and off switch back here. You also, and when you remove the back, it runs, uh, doesn't, uh, one of the other unique things as well is, well, I wouldn't say necessarily it's unique, but it doesn't recharge, work on a rechargeable uh, battery pack. It works on AAA batteries, although you could get AAA batteries. The good part is these AAA batteries are supposed to last eight months. So you could put regular AAA batteries as I have in here and you should be fine. You also uh, have this uh, port here, which is for firmware update only. So you can, it will eventually be able to update the firmware. And then your USB controller um, receiver fits right in the back there. By the way, the cover, when I first took it off for the first time, very, it was very hard to take off. I had to use like a screwdriver to get in there and pry it open. Now it seems to open up a lot easier. And again, you just... Uh, pop that open like that and it comes on and off very easily. So there you go. Those are some highlights uh, of the initial look in what uh, you'd want to know mostly about this controller. But more importantly, let's go ahead and dive in so I could show you the gestures, how it works. And of course, don't forget, you can ask me any questions you have. So Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned earlier, it just feels really good in the hand, the controller, not too big, not too small. The buttons have a nice tactical feel. They've got little bumps on top of them, very responsive and very pleased. It really does feel great. You again have your mouse, as you'll see, I'll show you that in a minute, over the keys, which is really unique. And then you've got your left mouse button and your right mouse button. So let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, so now it's on, and you can see here, I am moving the mouse right over the keys, and that's what makes it unique. But again, this is one of the reasons why they say that they have not made the controller illuminated. 
So as far as gestures, let me show you the different gestures, which we'll mostly focus on. So again, this is not really a gesture, but I guess you could call it a gesture. Now you can use also one finger if you wanted to click on the hyperlink. So if I uh, go over the hyperlink, I tap on the keys, you could see it goes to the next page wherever that hyperlink is, or I can use the left mouse button. So either way it works well. And then you can also, as you can see here, I've got the video playing. I could tap on the video and it pauses it. Now, so that is with one finger. And again, you can also, I can play pause with the left mouse button. Now for the right mouse button, you can, for a shortcut, you could press the right mouse button and your shortcut comes up, or you can tap with your two fingers. And sometimes it just takes a second to find that right spot. I guess right there in the middle there is probably where you wanna tap. You can see there, so that's that helps me to remember, you just gotta tap in the middle there and then you uh, are good. So that uh, would cover the right mouse and the two finger gesture. Okay, so next up is how to zoom in and zoom out and that is with your fingers. So to zoom out, you would just squeeze in. To zoom out, you would just push out and as you can see, how easy that is. It might take a little bit of getting used to, as I'm still getting used to. The next up is with two fingers for swiping up and down. So you can see you can go up and down, which is very helpful for those long pages. The next one is three fingers. And if you use your three fingers, you can go to one of the open programs or open in Windows and then just switch to that. So you just hover over that one and now I can go to Camtasia Studio. If I wanna to go to that Windows, I can do that as well. And that's with the three fingers. And then I could easily then come back to my YouTube here. Next up is also three fingers. So if I go downward, that would show you your desktop. And if you scroll up with the three fingers, it would open the task view to see all open windows. So you could see there, and then you could use your two fingers to, let me go up again, and let me close this out. So one of the things, which is good to see here, it is a little sensitive, so do keep that in mind. And so it will take some getting used to. So once you get used to that, then I think you'll find very easy uh, to use. Now, if you wanna type, you can open a tab, and if you just type, let's say, I wanna go again to my blog and it just goes to type very easy and then you could just move the mouse if I wanna do, you know, hiking, because I like to hike. So it works very smooth. Let me go type it back again, hiking. And there you go. And I press entered and goes to my blog. So interesting that that came up for for hiking. But let me go back to my videos. So typing very smooth. Next up that I just wanted to uh, share with you is the function key. So if you press the function and the escape, that puts it into the function mode. You could see here now I can move it in and out of uh, the function 11 or use the various function options. Then to move out of the function mode, you press the function and escape. And now you have the ability to use the top buttons here. So if I wanna, for example, use the volume control, I could use and control the volume as you can see there. So very easy to use, a very nice controller, uh, highly recommend it, uh, works very well. You've got your Windows button there. Uh, all the functionality you need. Uh, just wish it had the illuminated ability and also eventually Bluetooth. So click on the link to learn more, read reviews, ask questions, and of course, order it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.